Good evening, everyone. I'm Kamar Anchev. I'm live here at Centennial Bank Stadium, where Arkansas State is playing ULM in the Sun Belt opener for the Red Wolves. Now, ULM has started with two wins in Sun Belt play. They beat Idaho and Troy. Now, of course, the other big story today is that it's the 100th season, and it's also homecoming here. The band's been playing next to us. A lot of excitement going on here. Just not a lot of points early on. That doesn't come as a surprise, though. ULM is nine, only scores 19 points a game this season, so A State should hold them pretty good on defense again. The story on offense is that Michael Gordon is back in the backfield. He started the game with a couple carries, had seven yards. One was called back because of a penalty. Now, Dijon Pasco has two big catches on our, for Arkansas State on the offense. Again, though, it's 0-0 with about 8.58 to go in the first quarter. Now, Arkansas State and Arkansas don't play in Division I athletics, but they do play in rugby, and they play this afternoon. Let's check out those highlights. Here come the Rugby Red Wolves. Arkansas State would score early and often against Arkansas. Here's a big pile, and Mike Baska comes up with the ball and dives in for the try, 15-0 A-State. Later in the first half, Tom O'Hauser shows off his speed and dives for another Red Wolves score. Then some more good teamwork as check out this quick passing and a fake by Derek Riddle, and he's in for another score. Arkansas State wins big 109 to zero. What a score that was. And what a baseball game we saw last night. Adam Wainwright and Clayton Kershaw were supposed to play in a great pitcher's duel, but it was anything but. Wainwright allowed six runs and lasted just four and a third innings. The cards were down 6-1 heading into the seventh, but from there it was a St. Louis shock. Three runs already in and Matt Carpenter hits it off the bottom of the wall. Three more score and the cards take a 7-6 lead on Kershaw and the Dodgers. Later in the inning, Matt Holiday provides some insurance with a three-run homer. The Cards score eight in the seventh and eight runs total against Kershaw. 10-9 in the ninth now, tying run on third, and Trevor Rosenthal strikes out Yasiel Puig to end the game. Lance Lynn takes on Zach Grinke tonight in game two from L.A. First pitch is set for 8-37. Now back to the field here, back to the game. Arkansas State and ULM are still tied 0-0 with 6.51 to go in the first quarter. Arkansas State wore the all-black uniforms here for the homecoming, and it's been a lot, of, a lot of defense early on, kind of what I expected, kind of what I've been talking about all week. ULM again scores 19 points per game. Arkansas State only allowed 14 against Utah State last week. So defense has been the key for this team. Now, once again, the big story, Michael Gordon back in the backfield. So let's hope he provides a spark here for the team later on. Now, we're going to have plenty more tonight during Red Wolves Live. We'll have analysis. We'll have post game. We'll have live shots. We'll have, we'll have it all for you. But uh, again, it's been a low scoring game so far, and we'll see what happens. I think it's going to come down to a few plays. Will, will there be a turnover? Will Freddie hold on to the ball? Will he take care of the game? And if he does, I think Arkansas State should expect a win in their first Sun Belt game as they look to go for four straight Sun Belt titles. Reporting live from Centennial Bank Stadium, Kamenenchev, Region 8 Sports.